Alma Brisa. How are you, Alma Brisa? I'm fine, teacher. It's a pleasure. See yeah, you. same here, same here. How's everything with you? <laughs> what? How is everything with you? Uh, every, how is every, uh, nice. Okay, good, <laughs> okay. good. Okay. okay. Uh, where were you last week? I didn't see you last week. Uh, because my my daughter uh, last Saturday uh, got to Houston and she's uh, staying in Houston uh, three months. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you were in the process of to uh, buy um, presents for my family. And, and and the others. Okay, things. good, good. Nice to yeah. see you again. Okay, me too, teacher. <laughs> All right, good. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hey. Eduardo, Nestor. Hi, how are you, Mister? I'm doing okay, thank you. How, how you? was how was your weekend? Was it well, good? Was uh, yeah, I was good with family, and I went. And that's it. Good. That's all right. Yeah, spending time with the family is one of the best things you can do. Yep. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, Nestor, was how good. was your weekend? Hi. Good night. Good evening. Oh uh, well, my weekend was. So a little bit tired because uh -huh. with my wife uh, we we're planning um for her birthday for the next weekend okay so we are uh, planning for the cooking planning for the party planning for everything so it's Good. really tired so you were busy totally okay all right okay so welcome back what is today's date What's today's date? It's 28 September. Monday, September 28, 2020. Yeah. September is gone. Yes. September yeah, is almost this year history. Is yep. This year is going very fast. Exactly. You know, what? even though there's been changes, <laughs> You know, time is, we're at the end of the year already. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So welcome back. Uh, do you guys remember the topics we discussed uh, on Friday? Who remembers what we spoke about? What? What, what were the topics we discussed? We spoke about medicine. Yes, we spoke about medicine. Yes. And, and what, what, uh -huh. what, what are your, uh, your thinking when, when you heard the, the, the word medicine? Exactly, exactly. So we have different opinions. Some people said, yeah, it's good. Some people say, no, it's bad. Some people said, I only take medicine if I really have to. Uh, some people say, no, I never take medicine. So everybody has a different opinion about medicine. Uh, what else did we talk about? What was the other topic? Yes. Janita, Regina, Sarai. What were the other topics? Do you remember the other topics? I have forgotten. Okay, you have forgotten. Okay. Meat. We were talking about meat. Meat. Okay. What was it Friday that we were talking about meat? That was no, no, no Friday. It was Thursday, I think. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, anyways, um, any questions or comments before we start today's uh, session? No? All right. So um, let me ask you, uh, how many tenses are there in English? How many tenses are there? How many tenses? 12. 12. And there are 12 tenses in English. On Friday, one of the activities we had, um, you guys were practicing with future structures because you were talking about the plans that you had for Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and even today. Today, we're going to be practicing with the structures that we have that we use when we talk about past events. Now, what structures are you familiar with when you're talking about past events? Simple past. Simple past. What else? Past continuous. Present perfect. Present perfect, past continuous. What else? Mm -hmm. Past participle. Okay, past participle. When do you use the past participle form of the verb? In present perfect tense. Yes, in present perfect or past okay. perfect. Yes. Past perfect. Do you remember how to use uh, used to? Remember used to? Action in the yeah. past. Okay, and what happens with that action in the past? You don't do anymore. Very you good. You used to do in the past. Exactly. So the function of used to, to talk about things you did in the past, but you don't do anymore, or vice versa. Things that you didn't do in the past, but now you do. Anyways, so um, we're going to be talking, we're gonna be working in pairs, and you guys are gonna be talking about the different activities you did Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and all day today. So let me assign you to work in pairs. Got this here, create rooms, add a room, and here we go. Loading, loading, loading. They, they, they are not talking. Okay. Uh, you, Eduardo. You hear me now? Yes, I hear you now. Okay, now. now okay, yeah. The, the, I, 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 I had problems with my with my computer, but now it's all right. Okay, so let me let me move you to another room. Okay. And all right. All right. Good. In the past, I I, I had to work. Did you work Saturday and Sunday, Ovidio? Uh, yep, yes, yes, I. Yes, you did. I was, yes, I did. Yes, okay. I did. And, and, and where do you work again? I work in, in the sal. Okay. How many people are there in your company? Uh, I, there are um, 500. 500. 500. That's a lot. Uh, maybe. Yeah, in, in which yep. department are you in? In mar in maintenance of maintenance. Maintenance of power lines. Okay, good, good. Uh, tran transmission lines. Good, good. All right. And what about you, Adriana? How was your weekend? Uh, very tired because I was planning my son's birthday, okay. so I I have I have to do many things. Okay. After that, 
Uh, very well. Uh, okay. It was, uh, and, was, and when is the birthday exactly? Here in my house. Ah, it's on... When? Was, was the last Saturday, 26th. Okay. And how old is your son? He is eight years old. Oh, still little. Yes. Is he in second grade? No, first. First grade. And yes. he's receiving his classes online, I, I imagine. Yes, oh, everything online. Yeah. <laughs> <Of course too. laughs> okay. But that's a vacation for them somehow, you know, like, you know, they don't need to wake up early and they, they still have work, but I think it's less for them. Yes. Okay, nice talking to you guys. Thank you. Okay. In the family group. Yeah, I understand you. See, I, yes, I, I imagine you miss uh, your 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 activities in the in the church. I I thought uh, you were meeting on 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 the net in in the net. Some some churches are doing uh, that in that way. Hello, Herbert. Herbert. Hello. I am kind of late. I'm just hearing and just listen. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's really, it's really tired. Yeah. So how was the weekend, guys? Carlos? Um, in my case, the teacher, uh, my Saturday was uh, really busy because I had to prepare some things for, for this week, uh, things for, from work. Uh, uh, that was on Saturday and on Friday, uh, I'm sorry, on Sunday, I was in a little birthday party uh, for a, 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 little, a, a little nephew, uh, a, a, a baby girl. Uh, she was, uh, she is two years old. Uh, we had a little barbecue with a couple of people, you know, because of, because of the, of the, uh, of the virus and the pandemic, right? Thank you. Uh, and that, that was my weekend. Okay. Yeah, barbecues are cool. Yeah, it, it was really nice. Yeah. Nestor is preparing one for, for a birthday next weekend. Right, Nestor? Yes. Yes, that is that is correct. Okay, so don't forget to send us the address. <laughs> We're trying to maintain social distancing. Okay. So where where is the celebration going to be? At a at a friend's house or a relative's house? It's a relative's house. It's a uh, my mother-in-law house. Okay. Good. Good. All right. For some experience, did, did she did she feel like weird or or unsafe in that flight? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I I understand. Please, if you talk me, I mean, what was what was the experience of your your son. Oh, my, my, my son, my daughter. Yeah, when she take when she take uh, that flight, I mean, I oh. thought that she was like a little worried because of the COVID. Um, uh, my my daughter only used uh, the the mask. The mask only, and for. She arrived in Houston. Is the a process is, is <clears throat> not, she don't had a problem when she go to to migration. Yeah, immigration. Migration. 
and it's easy for the uh, go to to immigration and uh, take her uh, maleta suitcase so, uh -huh. yeah only a luggage a luggage too only mask yeah luggage mm -hmm. um if you want to have a good grade, right? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I need be. I need to pass this exam because. Oh, when you will have I'm your not... test? When will you have your test? Next week. Next week. Ah, but you have time. You have time right okay. now. This, this Monday. You what are very of... young. You can. You can. Study a lot at night. <laughs> what kind of tests are you taking, Mario? It's it's called uh, NSE7, Fortinet NSE7. Okay. It is a cybersecurity certification. Okay. Good. Brito, are you from San Vicente? No. No. no I'm from from San Salvador, but my family is. It's from Isalco. Oh. Sonate. Okay. And now uh, Isalco, I think. Okay. Yeah. Isalco is near near Lourdes. It's like thirty minutes from here, maybe. Yes. I actually I'm living in, in Lourdes. Oh, what part of Lourdes? Uh, it's called Las Arboledas. Okay. All right. Yeah, so Las Arboledas Lourdes is, it's near. Uh, yeah, it's, it's about, uh -huh. it's about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, it's not far, it's not much. Sure. Okay, good. For example, yes. if you had kids, you have to share with them. Yes. Or do something like the study or something like that. Imagine in the cases that if you were studying at the at, at university, you have mm -hmm. to take the classes. Yes, we need to take a break for work. Yes. I Teacher, don't... I'm sorry. Yes, Julius. How do you say, bañé a mi perro, wash the dog is the correct sentences? No. Uh, baited. I baited my dog. Let me baited, spell it. Baited. baited. You see the chat? Uh, yes. Baited. Uh -huh. baited. Ah, baited. Baited is baited very general. Baited is very general. When 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 you make contact with water, you said baited. Mm. Yeah. So and let's say you can, we can use in human too. Sure. Sure. So if Regina tells me, oh, on Saturday, we went to Rio Lempa, I will ask her, did you bathe? Mm -hmm. Se bañó, nadó. Mm -hmm. So bathe. Okay. So you will say, I baited my dog. Okay. okay. Baited. What, what, baited. what kind of dog do you have, Julius? No, I don't have a dog. So Regina. Oh. Save me this example. Oh, you do. Okay. What kind of dogs do you have, Regina? Yes. I have Siberian Husky. Okay. Only one? Yes. Okay. Just one, but it's, it's uh, enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it how do, you say, how do you say Raza? Is she? Breathe. She. It's a girl. <laughs> Breathe. Let me Breathe. write it. Breathe. You see the chat? Breathe. Breathe. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What breed is your dog? You said, oh, it's a Siberian Husky. Okay, it's uh, tremend. How do you say tremenda? Uh, hyper. Like hyper. It's too hyper that dog. <laughs> yeah, and how old is the you dog? You can imagine. How old how is difficult. the dog? Almost one year. Okay. It's a baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And, and you have had. Me, I love her. <laughs> Good. So you have had her since she was a puppy. Yes, when she was two months. Okay. 
Uh -huh. What's a poppy? Well, right. for me, it's a poppy right now. <laughs> yeah, and what color is the dog? Is it brownish or grayish? Brown, no, no, it's uh, black and white. Black and white. Black All right. And white. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh All right, all right, welcome back. Okay, uh, any questions or comments about how to talk about past activities? Simple past, past continuous, past perfect, present perfect, all that, used to. No, no questions, no comments? Okay, so your silence says a lot. So I guess you have no questions. All right, good. Okay, so let's go to our next activity. Um, do you guys remember the passive voice? Yeah. Grammatically speaking, do you remember the passive voice? Do, do you remember the differences between active and passive? For example, different was the is the importance of the subject and object. Exactly. Yes. So if I say um, I sold my bicycle last week, I sold my bicycle last week. That is active because I'm mentioning who sold the bike, which is me. Now, how do you transfer that information to the passive? My bike was sold by me. Okay, now if you want to mention the responsible person for, for the action, you can do it. But usually the main difference is between active and passive. The active, you mention who's, who's doing the action. With the passive, you mention the action, but usually you don't mention who's behind the action. So I said, my bicycle was sold. Who sold it? Did I sell it? My brother, my sister, my father? Who cares? The message is it's that the important. bicycle is not important, exactly. So when you're using the passive voice, there are two things that are mandatory you always need to include verb to be. And the form of the verb is always past participle. So let me, um, my bike was sold. Okay, can you see that sentence in the, in the chat? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Who sold the bike? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you say, Francisco, you look sad. Yeah, my bike was sold. Oh, okay. And uh, but maybe you'll get another one next time. Blah blah blah. So you can say, my bike was sold my by my brother. If they're asking you to mention the person doing the action, you mention it. But usually with the passive voice, you don't mention who's uh who's doing the, the action. Any questions there? So what are the two components that are mandatory when you're using the, the passive voice? The object is passive. What are, what are the two things that are mandatory when using the passive voice? The subject and the verb to be. Uh-huh. In past participle. And the verb in past participle. Verb mm -hmm. in past participle. How are you guys doing with your past participles? If it's a regular verb, you only add ed. Okay. And if it's irregular, it's... It changes. Intense. Okay, uh -huh. good. So imagine that... Uh, um, you have children playing outside your house and they hit the ball and they break a window. 
how would you explain that situation using the passive voice in the past? The window was broken. Exactly. By so paper. the window was broken. Window was broken. So you come to your house and you say, look, the window was broken, but you don't know who was, uh, who was responsible for the action. So it doesn't matter which tense you're using the passive voice, you always need to include verb to be, and the form of the verb is always in past participle. Any questions or comments? No? Okay, you see that question, uh, the sentence that I'm writing there? Los chorros is being remodeled. Los chorros is being remodeled. As you can see, verb to be is right there. And the form of the verb is always past participle. Any mm -hmm. questions there? So when you're using the, when you're using passive voice in the present continuous form, you always, what are the three forms of verb to be in present? Who remembers? Is, are. Uh-huh, very um, good. Am, is, is are. are. Am, is, are. So you have three different options. You will use the one according to the personal pronoun that you're using. You always need to include being. You always need to include being. And the form of the verb is in past participle. So you say money is being saved. Money is being saved. So they ask you, hey, I don't see you at the disco anymore. I don't see you going out as much. You say, oh yeah, money is being saved. Who's saving the money? Only you, you and your wife, you and your husband, the whole family. It really doesn't matter. When you say money's being saved, you're sending the message, but you don't mention who's saving money. Now, if they ask you, then you answer. But when you're using the passive voice, you don't need to mention who's doing the action. Any questions? How do you say? Yeah. You, you also can say. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, Eduardo. Uh, you also can say, uh, uh, I'm saying more. Sure. But yes, you can. And that is the active voice because you mentioned who's doing the action. I'm saving money. We're saving money. My brother and I are saving money. Mm -hmm. You can perfectly do it. But if you want to use the passive voice option, then you will say money is being saved. Yes. So mm -hmm. you said an incident has been reported. An incident has been reported. Which tense is this? What is the tense in the last uh, sentence, in the last example? Present perfect. Present perfect, exactly. Now, if you want to say the active form, you will say my supervisor reported or has reported an incident. So any questions or comments here about the passive voice? in the present continuous, in the present perfect? No? Okay, let me share this here. Give me a second. All 
right. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is the first part on how people use the passive voice in the present continuous. So you use the subject plus am, is, are. It depends on the personal pronoun that you're mentioning. You must use being and the form of the verb is always past participle. Look at the example, too many trees are being cut down right now, or too many trees are being cut down these days. Who's cutting the trees? We don't know, we don't care, or they don't want to mention. Or you can say water is being contaminated. Who's contaminating the water? Factories, business, communities, uh, but you don't mention it. Any questions or comments here? No. Okay, I will give you exactly five minutes so you guys can paraphrase what you guys have understood uh, from this. Let me send, um, you can take a screenshot from, from the computer. Wow, que bonito so. Robert. Robert. Okay, it's right there. So I will assign you to work in pairs and paraphrase and explain what you have understood. So I will room eight. Room. Room eight. Room two. Room eight. And then I will exchange with her. Exchange with him. Exchange with her. This guy here, him, and I will exchange with her. All right, so. Can I speak now? Yes, Eduardo. Okay, for example, you also can say, uh, the sun has been very hot. These days. Yes, that would be active. The sun has been hot today. So remember, when you're using when you're yeah. using the active voice, you are using the traditional structure uh, that we have for each one of the twelve different tenses. When you transfer from active to passive. You need to make certain modifications and you always need to include the verb to be and the past participle of the verb. I have right. a question, teacher. Yes, ask me. Uh, when, when you're using the passive voice, you always are going to use the verb to be in present. Um, in, in, in which tense again? In the passive voice. When no, uh, remember that the passive voice can be used in in different forms: present continuous, present perfect, uh, future. So it depends which tense you're using, and then you will have to use that particular form of verb to be. Okay. Yes. So uh, if it's present continuous, you have am, is, are. If it's in the simple past, was, were. If it's in future, will be. But you always need to include verb to be in the structure. Okay, and you can use it in the past. Sure, sure. Uh, let, let me give you an example. Um, how do you say, encontraron el carro? Find the car. 
Fine. Okay. okay, what is what is the past tense of fine? What is the past tense of found. fine? Found. Found. So said, hey, I'm happy. They found the car. Perfect. When they say they, you're making reference to the police department, to the army, whatever. How do the you say was found. the car was found? Hey, I'm happy. The car was found. Who found it? Maybe it was a neighbor. Maybe it was a friend. Maybe it was a police department. We don't really care. So they found the car that is active. If you want to use the passive form, you say the car was found. The car was found. Okay. okay, so let me open the rooms again and paraphrase what you understood. For example, in my case, my cell phone um, has been stolen. Stolen is perdido, stolen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the other example. Uh, the, any, uh, and, and, and anybody could be. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask, teacher, uh, when, yes, you say, when you say they found the car, uh, that is an active way or is it passive? Yes, no, it's active. They found the car. The police found the car. If you want to use it in the passive form, you will say the car was found. Under yeah. Something. Yes. That, that, that was the point that we were talking about. I remember that the passive boy is referred when the action uh, like come from the object not the subject so right. that's that's the passive voice yeah you yeah. Were right. with, yeah with the passive voice you're usually sharing the information the circumstance without mentioning who was behind it so that's that's the main difference active and passive okay great all right understood Good. But you must understand who is doing the action, right? Uh, the if, 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 if they ask you, you should, uh, you should include it. Like if you're, if you're taking an exam and the instructions are clear and they said, uh, transfer this to the passive voice and, and they include the name of a person, then you should do it. But okay. in, a, in a real life situation, you don't really have to, unless they ask you to. 
Yeah. And I be and I believe this is this is a really formal for, formal uh way to write. But yeah. in speaking it's not common, right? Uh it's not too common because people usually go for the active voice. And like I said before, the active voice makes reference to the uh, 12 um, traditional structures that we have in each tense. However, uh, people use the passive voice when you least expect it. So, um, and uh, let's say you are making a tutorial, uh, 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 you're explaining someone how to do something uh, people usually use the passive voice. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. Uh, well, I I would like to have a motorcycle, but for for me, it's a little bit. Uh, how do you say like miedo or something like that? It's freaky for me. Okay. <laughs> and they do do. You have never had a motorcycle, Regina? No, I, I'm in the motorcycle, but with another people, but alone, I don't. Okay. I can't ride a motorcycle. Yeah, you, uh, 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 there are uh, automatic motorcycles that are very easy to use. It's just like riding a bicycle. Yes, but I That's have right. a... I have seen an, a, a lot of um, accidents, strikes, accidents with motorcycles. Yeah. That's why I'm scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two weeks ago, I fell down on my motorcycle. Really? Yeah, but I just sleep on on sand, something like that. Sand yeah. And, and dust. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and I just fell down, but it was nothing. I don't know. It was plainly stopped right, right there and just. Yeah. But healthy ground. Okay. Yeah. I have had only two incidents uh, with the motorcycle. One time a car hit me from behind. So the car tried to stop, mm. but I was too close. So I went to the floor. It, nothing serious. Nothing serious. Mm -hmm. And the second time I was going to Los Chorros and there was oil on the street. Ooh. So the motorcycle slipped and I fell. And uh, it wasn't that serious, but there were cars coming from behind, you know. So I was uh. scared. I was scared. But thank God nothing serious has happened to me. Yes, but it's dangerous, I think. Yeah. You have to be cautious. Yes. Yes. Three, How much? Three foot cautious. Yeah, how much time have you ride? A, have you ridden a motorcycle, Nestor? Uh, like for six years right now. I okay, think. and you never had any serious incidents. Like serious, serious, no. Okay. Uh, one time, uh, a car hit me. Uh, but it was just like uh, a little push over me. Okay. And like I say, nothing serious, but. But for real, I have, I've been very cautious yeah. when I drive on my motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, drivers, uh, many drivers, they don't respect motorcycles. And many people with motorcycles, they don't respect the law. So that's like a bad yes. combination, you know. So, that's a problem. That's right. Yeah. I, I have seen, seen a lot of accidents. Yeah. Like that. One time we were um, just, how do you say it? Uh, overpassing. Well, we were overpassing. I was, uh, I, when I do that, I'm always trying to be a little slow and be cautious of my, of my sights. Uh -huh. um, it was, it was just this guy, he was like, um, desperate to, to be passing over, over all of us. And they was like, for like six or 10 meters ahead of me. And a coaster just hit him. Coaster just went out of the part of the the line and just hit him. Yeah, yeah. I have seen serious car accidents with motorcycles too. I have seen dead people. You know, like yes, I know. 
Yeah, and and you start thinking, man, that could have been me. You know, it can happen to me too. That's right. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Thank you. All right. All right. This this problem. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Did you finish talking about the explanation of the passive voice? Yes, sir. And we understood very clearly. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Welcome back. Any questions or comments on how to use the passive voice? This is just the introduction. I will have more exercises tomorrow so we can practice with it. Do you have any questions so far? Uh, yes, I have a question. Yes, Noe. Uh, we had a, a doubt about um, present perfect passive. When you are using with a plural, you use are being contaminated or have been contaminated. What is the correct form? Okay, let me give you an example in the chat. Promotions are being made. Promotions are being made. That is the, the passive voice in the present continuous form. Now, if you want to use that one in the present perfect, you will say promotions have been made. So once again, it, it doesn't matter which tense you're using verb to be is always there and the form of the verb is always past participle so promotions have been made who made the promotions the supervisor mm -hmm. the owner the president promotions have been made so you're transmitting the information the i'm sorry the first one is present, present continuous present continuous passive voice in the present continuous form the second one is passive voice in the present in perfect. Present perfect. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very well. All right. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Thanks. Okay. So we go to our last activity. We have about 10 minutes left. We're going to be talking about something that you guys use every day. Do you know what I'm referring to? Every day, the something phone? that you use every day, your cell phones, exactly. Uh, okay, how much do you use your cell phones? The whole day, oh. all, <laughs> all day, <laughs> every day. Moment. Okay, do you turn off your cell phones when you go to sleep? No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I don't. Very light. Okay, do you put it in the quiet uh, mode? Yes. No. <laughs> no. So if someone calls you at 1 a.m., your phone will ring? Yeah. No. Not in my yes. That's right. Okay. All right. Yes. You know, my cell phone is always on, but I put it on quiet because, you know, uh, you receive messages, notifications, so that's... Yeah. I, 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 sometimes I do, I, I put in quiet. Right. And the first thing that I do when, when I wake up in the morning, you know, I check if I have missed, uh, uh, anything with, uh, about somebody. So that's all right. A any questions or comments about, uh, about cell phones before we start? Not really. Not really. All right. So let's do this.
Let me check. Let me check the, the question. We were knowing each other, teacher. So we haven't taken with the with the questions. This is this is your first time uh working together? That's right. Yeah, yes. Good. good, good. That's very important that you guys get to know each other. Yes, I that's good. But now, for example, if my wife or my sister or my mom call me and I don't respond this call, the people are worried for the situation, yeah. maybe. It is. I think it's a control instrument. <laughs> <laughs> for it job is. and for family. <laughs> for job, for family, for friends, for everybody. For friends. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. I think like life like before cell phones, for me at least, it was uh, simple. I think you have to work, you go to the office, do your work, get out of the office and have your normal life, uh, university, family, girlfriend. Uh, but right now you can do... You uh, hello, hello. I have a problem with my computer. Hello. How are you? Okay. I need to answer. I need to answer Fine. the question. Fine. How was? Uh, can you repeat again the question? Uh, what was life like before? before cell no, how was? What was? How life? was life before cell phone? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. life how before how cell was? Phone. Okay. What was? Well, Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi, teacher. Which number are you discussing? Number yeah. three. Number three. Okay. How much time do you use your cell phones? Do you use it a lot? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, is, what is the main function that you have in your cell phones? Is it WhatsApp, Facebook, making calls? I think making calls, WhatsApp, and email. Okay. All right. For me, it's WhatsApp, Twitter, and in this, and then how do you use the chat company uh -huh. or something like that? The Skype, for example. Okay. We have in the company. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. In my case, you know, my main use is WhatsApp, then making calls. And then three, um, emails and Facebook. So I divide my cell phone in four. WhatsApp, mm -hmm. email, phone calls, and what's the other one? Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I don't really make calls. Uh, all the communication is by um, WhatsApp. So. WhatsApp, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, that's how. My Okay, so let me check one more and then we leave. Okay. It's French, um, whatever, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So in that, in that, that, that's the good part. Yeah, and another, uh, another, um, another situation which it's more simple now if, for example, when you are looking for an address or for a place that you don't oh, know, yeah. before you have to ask to everyone, excuse me, do you know where is that address? Excuse me, do you know where is that address? But now you only get the map and uh, type the address and you get immediately for sure for sure even if someone uh, telling you the address go for this road like one mile then turn yes. left yes even uh, the 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 map uh, give you the uh, the time uh, approximately 
the time we, uh, you you'll be there you'll be there right <laughs> it's incredible yeah yeah um, yeah i think the applications are more reliable because sometimes you ask somebody like excuse me how do i get to this place from here and they give you the wrong instructions or or they don't know how to explain themselves so yeah the application is 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 more reliable yes for example people say don't ask for address to a woman <laughs> uh-huh yeah <laughs> yes, if, if, <laughs> sometimes we we have a trouble with friends and one person <laughs> know the place and the, the the person which know the place is a woman is wow it's a it's a mess <laughs> a bad experience <laughs> yes <laughs> all right let's go back to the main session okay okay all right All right, all right. I know that we can speak about cell phones for hours and hours and hours. I know that you have stories, good stories, bad stories. Maybe someone stole your cell phone before. So there are many things we can mention about cell phones. Um, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No. no. Okay. So once again, thank you very much for making the space. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time, 9 p.m. Have a good night. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Good night, night everybody. Good night. good night. Good night. Bye. See ya. Thank you. Be safe. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>